Southeast Asia is the global epicenter of marine biological diversities. Uh, there are more fish, coral, crustacean, shellfish species here than anywhere else. So it's no shock then that because this region is the global epicenter of marine life, that it also is the major exporting market for seafood to the rest of the world. There is a lot of concern uh, in the last 10 years by U.S. consumers about the fact that fisheries being imported into the U.S. was being uh, tied to illegal fishing, in some cases slave labor, and was not being caught sustainably or legally. So Tetratech's role under the Oceans Project is to creatively address illegal fishing and reduce the amount of illegal seafood that's being exported from Southeast Asia to the United States and other overseas consumers. So part of what we're doing is engineering, is creating new technologies, hardware and software, to bring these new solutions to the market. So the essence of Oceans is to develop new technologies, which is referred to electronic catch documentation and traceability systems. New technologies to support sustainable fisheries. So really it's bait to plate. So when the fish is landed, at a landing site, there's a tag that a QR code is entered into an app and that fish with that tag gets branded all the way from the processor to the exporter to the importer to the retailer of that fish. And basically what's that saying is that fish is legally caught. We've traced over 2,000 metric tons of fish now legally caught. Women are also involved, and the women are the silent ones behind the scene because you'd be surprised, one out of every two people working in the fishing sector are women. But where are they? They're in the processing plants. They're the ones that are negotiating for the fish at the landing site. So our tools, for example, they have it on their app. They know by the app that this fish weighs this amount, caught legally, is worth this amount. In fact, we're starting to see new markets emerge where women are being empowered to use these data and transform the power base where previously they were being reactive to national government or overseas markets versus holding the data, the answers, the solutions. With these new systems in place, we now have real-time information coming in. The moment these fish species are caught, the species, the size, the caudal length, the weight, and the position of where they were caught, all gets recorded automatically and transmitted. This fundamentally changes how decisions will be made. They won't be made in huge boardrooms at a national agency every three years. They'll be made in real time at local ports every three to four weeks. And this is what is required in a very complex and dynamic environment to make sure that these fish stocks survive.